assets. So building portfolios. Now I would tell people invest in index funds. It's very simple. Invest in index funds. Keep investing in index funds. Simple. No complication. The minute you graduate from there. Uh, if anyone, uh, any new investor who is going to start his journey today and say want and has a decent amount of cash flows through his own, uh, say, job or business. And uh, if would you advise him to to follow that strategy of investing through SIP in stocks? I'm not talking about mutual funds here. Uh, no, the short answer is no. Hey, but guys, new, kya karega ho? It's just, it's just nonsense to say ki jump in and start doing everything from you start with your mutual fund journey, start with index funds, keep your basic because you have to advise means you have to give people proper advice. This is not an education. This is not like, Achha, ye try karte hai. you know, this right. is people's hard earned money. Mostly they don't care about invest, investing it so much in the sense they want the money to grow. They don't know how. So you educate them on boss, you invest, then things will go up and down. Don't worry. Right. Uh, Building portfolios is a different exercise. It's a more advanced exercise. So building portfolios. Now I would tell people invest in index funds. It's very simple. Invest in index funds. Keep investing in index funds. Simple. No complication. They're being done by a lot of people and they, they come out with their own set of advices on top. You can listen to that or you can do your own work. So that becomes the next step. And then the third step I would say once you get past all of this is when you start thinking of investing directly in stocks. Investing directly in stocks is not about investing in stocks. It's actually about building portfolios. Building portfolios is a very different thing from buying stocks. Buying stocks may you just keep looking, some friend will tell you some stock, you go and buy it, you analyze it, you look at the fundamentals and all, I like this. When you buy, build a portfolio, you're actually saying, I want these set of stocks meeting these rules in our portfolio. Uh, uh, so I think one of the problems that we are having in the overall sequence of things is that people don't build portfolios. They build, they want stocks, a uh, stock without it. So portfolios are like this, your good stocks should have a reasonable weightage in your portfolio. Your largest stocks should have high weightage uh, in the portfolio. Your, your, you should have a philosophy that says, well, I mean, like for instance, if momentum is your philosophy, then momentum is the philosophy. You should have stocks which have momentum. If they don't have momentum, why are they in the portfolio? So you can have that. And you can have models around how, uh, you know, so the, this is a different topic. It's very boring. This is like, how do you make a dosa? The problem is not in making the dosa because making the dosa is five minutes. Uh, it's in the batter. The power of how good the dosa comes out is not in the frying of the dosa. It is in the batter. And the batter is boring. Because they'll say, Achha, itna karo, thoda sa salt dalo, thoda pani dalo, thoda ye karo, thoda. it's too watery, it's not good, it's too this, it's not good, you have to do this when you, all that is very boring, no, people want to fry the dosa, they want to put the dosa and do trk trk and take it out, that is the most boring part of the, that is the most interesting part of the dosa, but it's the least effective, the selecting of stocks is also the most interesting part, where people say, Achha, aisa stock, ye stock, achha, wo stock. that is not how you make money. If you want to select stocks and show off to your friends, that is what you should do. But if you want to actually build portfolios and wealth for the long term, then you should build portfolios, which is basically uh, finding a set of stocks. Now, whether 20 works for you or 100 works for you, all is fine. According to me, you have, I ought to have your philosophy uh, clear in what you need to, what you want to do. If you're, do, if you're happy with 100, do 100. Peter Lynch had 1000, Buffett has 600. It doesn't matter. Uh, and there's no hard and fast rule that only 20 on it, only 25 on it. If you want to do 50, you do 50, you want to do 20, you do 20, you want to do core and satellite, you do 20 core, 20 satellite. So uh, in the end, only 15, 20 stocks, even in Peter Lynch's portfolio, about 20 or 40 stocks roughly were about 75% of his portfolio. That is the how the portfolios are. They evolve and they become concentrated on a few stocks that do really well. So. Uh, I would say someone who's starting off now should not invest in stocks. They will not have any expertise in doing that. You take some money as a sandbox, this play money. You use play money to build your strategy, to understand what works for you. Over time, when you get good at it, then you can move money out of your mutual funds into your stock portfolios. Till then, don't do it. It's like saying, I will, you know, the minute I start uh, thinking of driving a car, I have to first learn how to drive the car. Then I can, you know, 
a drive a fancy car or a good car or this thing. So you don't go to go and say, if I'm learning, I'm going to go buy the most expensive car in the world. I'm going to buy cars that are, uh, you know, uh, so for instance, if I want to teach my son driving when he becomes 18, I will teach him on an older car because I'm afraid, you know, if he does something and all that stuff. But to give him a new car when he starts off would be a little bit dangerous, right? So the same thing I would say, don't advise people to, I won't advise people to just jump into stocks. It's a complicated thing. In the book that I've written, Money Wise, I've actually talked about it. I said, it's, it's like a progression. You have to start from the basics and then figure out where your interests lie and then go on to the more advanced.